Welcome to another tutorial from Mixology Studios Online. My name is Balfam, aka Classic. And if you would, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixology Studios. And if you care for my personal one, Classic Hip Hop. So today, what we're going to get into is something that will help your workflow, whether you're an audio engineer, a producer, or you don't have to be any one of those. You could be an, a writer, you could be a videographer, just anyone that deals with computers all the time and deals with redundant tasks. What you can use and what I've been using lately is a piece of hardware that you're looking at right here called X Keys. And it's a programmable keyboard that has 24 keys on it. And it's controlled by this software right here called Controller Mate. And what Controller Mate does is that you can program certain steps to complete a task, which are basically called macros. And it will help you to eliminate stuff that you do all the time, every day. So it's very helpful to speed up your workflow. A couple of things that I've done as far as trolling my Pro Tools and making my life basically much simpler. So I've just started to get into it. What we're gonna do is just basically find the tempo. And what I do is normally I'll play this back and clip this. And go to the top of the fifth bar, which is right here. Clip it again. And normally if I, I've had to push Command I and type in one tab tab three times five and click OK and it'll give me the roundabout tempo. Now I could do that, it's no big problem, but for me to just automate it, it's just kind of a cool thing to push with one button. So what I do is just select this, hit this button called tempo that I've programmed and it does the task for me much faster than I would and it's at 65 beats per minute. So that's something that's real simple that I can control. It's something that's a little bit more complicated to where I want to turn on my plugins for my mastering fader. What I did was just pre-program something in Controller Mates. Go to this first plugin, hit this button. It says Active Inactive Master. You can probably see that, you probably can't. But what I do is push it. Voila, it basically turns all of my plugins on and turns off my Sonarworks plugin. So I don't have to go in, right click, make it active, right click this, and do this a million times all day, every day when I'm mixing and mastering songs. So that's another more complicated one. And just for the fun of it, we're gonna program something. So what we're gonna do is just go to this programming items section. And Controller Mate has different windows. I've already programmed uh, Pro Tools as my programming group. And I've created a page for it already. And what I'm gonna do is just, let's see if we can program something from Audio Suite. All right, so what we'll do is, let's just program XForm to turn on. All right, so what we'll do, what I'm gonna do is have the screen show, go all the way down to X form, and make a screenshot of my screen. Now the reason why I'm doing that is for controller mates to be able to identify where I want the cursor to move to. So what we're gonna do is use this button right here. If we look on the screen, it's button 13 go to like an empty spot on this page and so there's an inspector window this is the palette obviously that has controllers output and all this extra stuff that you can program with and then the output window so what I want this to do is go to audio suite P 
pitch shift and X form. So what I want to do is go to the output and use this cursor building block. Go to screen position. And if you remember, I took the screenshot earlier, go to screenshot viewer, open the screenshot, which is this one right here. So what I want to do is bring the cursor to audio suite and have it click on it. So I'll move the cursor first, use this mouse button to do a single click with the left button. Then I wanted to scroll down to pitch shift. So most likely what I want to do is create a delay. Maybe about a second. And I want to allow the delay to continue. Sometimes when you have this highlighted on the property of delay, it doesn't work. So I hit allow. I'm just going to test drive it real quick. All right, cool. So it goes to audio suite, and now I want it to go down to pitch shift. So the command is to click, go down to pitch shift, and then go all the way down to X form. So I'll go to output, cursor building block, change this to screen position, go to pitch shift, going to automatically put the coordinates in probably put another delay right there go to timing delay leave it at one second allow the delay to continue and then I want it to go all the way down here output cursor building block screen position X form coordinates inputted and the mouse building block single click left button so hopefully this should work so let's see push this button actually popped up so Voila, it worked. So it's something that you can utilize with your own system. Now this is a Mac and I'm pretty sure they have it for Windows. This is something that could really speed up your workflow and basically shortcut your time in half or by hours and hours of time. And you can do unlimited things with the X keys programmable keyboard. I haven't even gotten to the Apple scripts yet. With Apple scripts, you can really do crazy, crazy stuff like open Google Chrome, go to Gmail, open new email, attach MP3, and other crazy, crazy stuff. You can find this on Amazon, is where I found it and I bought it. And it's a little pricey, but the software is free. And once you learn how to program it, it does wonders. So hopefully this will help you with your workflow and whatever you do as a videographer, producer, audio engineer, songwriter or all of the above like i said it's not limited to pro tools you can use this in ableton you can use this in fruity loops you can use this in final cut pro adobe premiere pro microsoft word whatever you want to use don't forget to subscribe like comment below and click the bell for instant notifications i'll see you guys in the next one and until next time send mix play